In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use the History Browser in Drama. We'll start with the document we created in our Transitions Basics tutorial. To open the History Browser, I'll click on the History Toolbar item in the upper left corner of the window. Now I can see the history of this document here in the left panel. Let me show you something really cool. This circle represents the current document version. When I drag the circle like this, I can access all past versions of this document. Isn't that cool? This blue line represents the timeline of your versions. The very first version, which is just an empty scene, is at the bottom, while the newest version is at the top. Below the history preview, you can see the version timeline in more detail. This is a list of all document changes. Click on any of these changes to step back to the past, essentially traveling in time like this. Now let's add a new branch to our history. I'll select a really old version here. And then pick Add Branch from this version from the contextual menu. In the history preview, you can see the version timeline has split and now shows two branches of our history tree. Click on the branches like this to switch between them. You can change the name of a branch by double clicking and then inputting a new name. I'll rename this branch Flat. Now let's see what happens when I make more changes in our branch. With each document change, a new version will appear here. I'll make this a bit larger, like this. And I'll also make the scene smaller. And you can already see some new versions appearing here, so let's continue. I'll add some text here. And let's change the font. And maybe the fill color too, like this. And change this text to flat. OK. Now let's see what happens when I try to undo these changes. With every undo action, the current document version moves into the past, like this. And with a redo action, you return to the future. Let's add one more branch so we can explore a different design direction. This time, I'll proceed slightly differently by simply moving to a past version from which we want a branch and then make some changes there. So I'll change this color to red. And a sheet with several options appears. I'll choose the Add New Branch option. I'll then rename this branch round by double clicking. OK. Then I'll make some changes to this drawing by increasing the corner radius and maybe making this corner sharp. And I'll use a gradient fill too. Let's also add shadow here. That's nearly done. And I'll just change the text to round now. We can switch between branches at any time, like this. This is really useful for exploring design alternatives. Finally, let's look at a different way of undoing changes. So I'll add some stars. But I've changed my mind and don't want those stars after all. I could use the undo command from the main menu, but I can also simply right click on a past version here and pick undo to this version from the contextual menu. Then these later versions with recently added stars will disappear, just like that. So undo something and the corresponding changes also disappear. And unlike other design tools, Drama allows you to access most recently undone versions. From the pop-up button, choose Branches with Last Undone instead of Branches. And in addition to regular branches, this will now also show you a branch that corresponds to your last undone changes. And I can switch this undone branch and see my undone stars. And I can, for example, copy this star from this branch here and simply paste it to another branch here. And if you want to keep those undone changes after all, just rename the undone branch to something like stars. So that's how you use the history browser in Drama. Thanks for watching.